it's an interesting question because this is a, a sub somewhat subjective uh, definition in, and it changes from uh, group by group or, or institution by institution, but uh, in general this involves a large group of patients, the majority of them, who we think uh, will not have an R0 resection if taken to surgery. There are patients who have a higher risk of uh, residual disease after surgery, so um, those are we classify as borderline resect. Vision involves patients who have uh, a lot of tumor contact with the ve vein or some contact with the artery that we don't see a clear tissue plane uh, on those uh, blood vessels. So in, instead of taking a patient to surgery and running the risk of having residual disease, uh, we now group them on a borderline resectable and give them treatment before surgery. What we're doing, you know, having meetings like that and uh, having uh, uh, surgeons and oncologists together, but a lot of that depends on, on the skill of your surgeon, how much he's willing to do for that patient, and also depends on the patient characteristics. Can they really withstand an operation that will require arterial reconstruction, you know, many hours of surgery, potential complications? So it's not just the what we see on a CT scan, but also can a patient withstand that um, operation, that uh, larger operation? But having meetings and have uh, 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 obviously consensus guidelines that we have that have been developed in 2016, uh, describing the different uh, societies, there are different criteria for borderline resectable. I think it's a, it's a start.